excuse my voice I like literally just woke up and I haven't spoken at all this morning I know you guys relate to like the morning voice right <laughs> but I haven't filmed one of these in so long just because I was traveling I was on PTO I took vacation and then I moved and tried to finish this place this brand new apartment in basically like three weeks so there hasn't been a work vlog in so long but I'm so excited to take you guys along today today is also an office day and yeah I'm just gonna take you along my realistic work day in the life and I feel like you guys have been commenting a lot about what my job is and what I do because all I say is like corporate strategy but more or less I work internally at a CPA slash accounting firm in Tyson's Virginia I know you guys know me but if you're new my name is Jenna I'm 25 I live in Arlington Virginia with my boyfriend who's a medical student and like like I said, we've been moving into this apartment for the last couple of weeks and I'm finally beginning to feel a little bit settled. So I'm gonna go into the office today, have a nice good day. And yeah, it'll just be a good day. Thursdays are the best because it's like pre-Friday. Friday you can already anticipate will be good, but Thursday is like the beginning of that Friday feeling. So I love Thursdays. Happy Thursday. I just got ready for the office. I just threw on this yellow silk button down top. I love this because it's short sleeve and it's not a crop top or anything at all. So I can wear it with jeans or slacks and it's really office appropriate. And then I'm just wearing a pair of jeans. And then for my shoes, I'm wearing my new Vivaya Aria 5 flats. Thank you so much, Vivaya, for sponsoring today's video. I'm so freaking excited to tell you guys about this brand. These shoes are so freaking comfortable. I'm sure you guys have seen Vivaya all over social media. I feel like they've just grown so quickly and they're so popular. But if you guys don't know, Vivaya is a chic footwear brand focusing on giving you stylish and sustainable shoes that are eco friendly. Also supports 30 days of free exchange and exchanges globally. Vivaya's team has focused on comfort throughout the entire process of making their shoes which is why these are literally so freaking comfortable it's actually crazy and i just need to show you guys these shoes because all of their products are made with 3d technology and recycled materials they've established an entire zero waste process to create a seamless 3d knitted design and each of their shoes is the reincarnation of six plastic bottles the shoes that i'm wearing today are the aria 5 hemp and these shoes you guys are actually crazy because not only are they so comfortable but they're machine washable they're so soft so flexible you can move them around you can stick them in your purse whatever it is like they are your everyday shoe i want to show you guys three different outfits not just the one that i'm wearing to work today but i also have a dress outfit and another black jean outfit these vivaya shoes i feel like just go with any type of outfit i love them so much because there's like this specific pattern and texture on the shoe so it's not only very neutral and very comfortable and it would go with so many different outfits but just the fact that it's made with the hemp queen natural fiber i just think adds like an extra piece of stylish touch to it it's so freaking cute if you guys don't know hemp which is the material of these shoes that i'm wearing is one of the most strongest and durable organic fibers out there the entire shoe is a hemp and cotton blend so that works with their own sustainable yarns and hemp has a low impact on the environment so like i said you guys everything is just sustainable and stylish and environmentally friendly and i love these because i feel like it makes a jean outfit for the office look a little bit more professional but they're also a little bit more stylish than your typical ballet flat i just think that these are so freaking cute i love them so so much the packaging of the shoes too anything that you get from vivaya is all made from 100 recycled materials and recycled cardboard if you guys are interested in vivaya shoes check them out they have so many different shoes they have flats they have sneakers they have loafers and every single one of those shoes is machine washable i just think that's crazy so definitely check them out i do have a discount code for you guys if you want to use the code hong you can get 15 percent off your entire order i'll leave the link in the the description box and the code up here on the screen. Thank you so much, Vivaya, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into our work day. Woke up wanting you beside me. I don't know what else to say. Ain't no particular reason. Just hit by your way. 
now that I'm finally starting to feel more settled in the apartment and this place is just like so big, something I'm trying to do in my mornings because I'm not really working out in the mornings that much these days is just having slow mornings to do what I need to, but also do what I feel like is best for me. And one of those things is journaling. You guys know how much I love journaling. I feel like I talk about it all the time. I've talked about like how it's helped me in therapy, just in myself. And I think it's also really good to like document your memories and your thoughts and your feelings and you just have to like let it out sometimes. So journaling in the morning is really nice because I feel like it helps me prioritize myself in the mornings before I go to work. And if I'm not like exercising and doing something for my body, then journaling just makes me feel like I'm like doing something for my brain and like my soul. Journaling is really nice. Oh, good morning. Oh, hello. Thomas is eating his high fiber cereal. <laughs> Good morning. I don't understand why that's funny. <laughs> you guys, one time we went to Trader Joe's and Thomas just like demanded that we get this high fiber cereal. I don't find that funny. <laughs> Really oh my fun. gosh. Well, I am gonna make a quick breakfast before I go to the office today and then we'll be off to our day. No. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do for breakfast. If I had more time, I would make this like peach protein yogurt with you guys. It's so freaking good. I'm gonna leave a link in that video where I made that protein yogurt because it's like, it just tastes amazing. But this is what I do when I'm running out of time. I have, oh good, I have one left. This is the Oikos mixed berry protein yogurt. I mean, it's not really protein yogurt, but it has 15 grams of protein, which I think is really good. And above the fridge, we have my protein, at least this vanilla one. And then I just take a Tupperware. My mom gave me these, so I'm not sure where you can find them, but just like any circular, like bowl-like Tupperware. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take a scoop of this vanilla organ protein. And then when I get to the office, I'm gonna like mix them in the circular Tupperware so that it's like a bowl, you know? Do this. Vanilla protein. I just think like of all the flavors, there's like cool flavors, there's like fun flavors, but I feel like at the end of the day, vanilla protein is just the best. You can like mix it with anything. Sorry if you can hear that in the background, Thomas is making coffee. Last thing, so I have this yogurt, I have protein, and then what I do is I put granola in a plastic bag, and then I add that at the very end. So it's just like so good, so fast, and since this is only granola going into this, I just reuse these, but I just do a little bit like this kind of eyeball it. I feel like that's good. Mm, I feel like that's a lot. Okay, I feel like that's good. And then I just put the plastic bag in the Tupperware so that nothing leaks or anything. And then here you go, here's our quick breakfast to, to take to the office. Okay, well, I'm going to the office. I will see you guys after work today. I think I might have a happy hour after work or like a dinner, but that's later on. So I'll see you guys before I go to that. And let's go, let's go to the office. Let's have a good day. My battery is like literally about to die, but I hope you guys had a good day. It is five, I got off like a little bit early today. I was pretty productive. So usually I stay until six, but it was just one of those days that I felt like I got enough done and I was able to leave like an hour early. So I'm pretty happy with today. And yeah, it's actually really nice today too. It's been so hot in the DMV. I work in Tyson's, Virginia, if you guys don't know, and it has just been crazy, crazy hot. So I'm really glad that I was able to go out to lunch with my friend and like sit outside and just like not hate being outside for once. That was really nice but I'm headed home now. I'm gonna make some dinner. It was green light and I'm not gonna vlog and drive, but I'm headed home and then after dinner, I'm gonna go meet some work friends, but happy end of the day. It's a beautiful day and I'm really happy. Hello? Hello? Hello. <laughs> I don't. 
Okay, we're too lazy to make the ziti, so we're having fried rice, but it's leftovers. And Thomas brought home some chicken, so we're gonna have that with some kimchi, fried rice, and then the ziti. Let me at least show you guys. It's so good. It's just like kind of big, and it takes a while to cook, and I'm running out of time. So, you guys, one thing I love about our new place, our new apartment, if you guys don't know, Thomas and I just moved in here a couple weeks ago, and it's just so much bigger than our old apartment. It's so nice, and our favorite thing is the afternoon slash like going into the sunset view. And I feel like our apartment is brightest at this time. So it's just really nice to come home and have like a bright space to be in. And it's just, it's so big. Fried rice with chicken, kimchi, that's it. Mm -hmm. Did you have class on Fridays? I'm like there until like 5.15 tomorrow. We have oh, wow. mandatory things tomorrow. <sighs> Wait, I want to get your opinion on this. And I want to talk about this later. Do you think that your mentor should be your boss? Or do you think that no, if they're your boss, they can't be a mentor? I think a mentor can be anybody. But do you it's, think it's your a, mentor- A mentor is anybody that like- Can be your boss too? I think it could be your boss. Why not? Or is your boss also your mentor? No, I don't think they have to be. Your boss doesn't necessarily have to be your mentor. Like yeah. anybody could be a mentor. If, if someone knows something better than me and was willing to help me out, that's like a mentor. Mm. We'll, we'll talk about this later, but I just wanted to get Thomas' vlogs. Okay, hi guys. I'm going off to dinner, or not dinner, but like it's like a happy hour situation with some friends. So I will see you guys later. Honestly, this is like what I like to do on my Thursday nights. I like to do something social on Thursday nights because usually I, I just feel like Thursday night is like the beginning of your weekend mood. I know I said this this morning, but it's totally true. So I'm gonna go enjoy my Thursday night. I'll see you guys when I come back though. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. And then I'll talk to you guys as I'm getting ready to go to bed like about what we were talking about earlier. Cause I think it's really interesting and I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. But for now, I'm going. This is what I'm wearing to happy hour. I'm wearing this set active. This is from the Amy Song Collection. It's their matching cami. I forget what color this is. I'll leave it on the screen, but it has a button down too. And I just think this is so cute. And I'm just wearing some jeans. So that's what I'm wearing. I'll see you guys later. And yeah, it's gonna be nighttime when I see you guys. Okay, hi guys. It's not even that late. Thomas is asleep and he just goes to sleep a little earlier because He's studying all day, going to school and stuff. So this is just kind of like the reality of what my work days are like now and like especially office days and work days in the week. So we're just gonna get ready for bed together here. I'm like sweaty also because I walked home and it was kind of a long walk, but that's just because I love walking. I mean, you guys know that if you've been watching my videos, for basically all of summer, my only exercise has been outdoor walks and it's just so good for like your physical health, your mental health, everything. And yeah, so I walked home from the happy hour, which was like a pretty long walk. It was like a 45 minute walk. I know that sounds really long, but I like didn't exercise at all today. I just like basically was sedentary all day working my desk job. I didn't work out in the morning and that's just kind of like the reality of how it goes. So I walked home and it was really nice. So now I'm here. How about we change, get ready for bed, and then I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about like the mentor coach thing. Hi guys, I just took a body shower and I'm gonna do my skincare as I talk to you guys in the bathroom before I go to sleep. And I just wanna preface this by saying, this is a very realistic and like typical Thursday work day in life for me. I work in corporate at a CPA firm internally in corporate strategy. My practice is called like growth intelligence or market intelligence. And I know some of you guys might not know what market intelligence is, but more or less I do a lot of market research for partners and leaders at my company to help them make informed decisions about their practice. So that's kind of like my job in a nutshell. You guys want me to go into more detail? I can try, but it's kind of hard because similar to consulting, like strategy is something that's specific to that firm internally. And there's kind of only so much like I can go into detail about, but I feel like not a lot of people know what market intelligence and like strategy is at firms. It's just like, consulting tax or audit but there's actually a lot of internal roles that, that make these big firms like cpa firms especially like deloitte ey kpmg all these other cpa firms they're just like internal roles that make these companies go around in their main service offerings so i can go into it if you guys want 
I don't know if anyone really cares, but that's like a little bit more about my job. But I say all this to say that it's still a full-time job at the end of the day. It's still a corporate job and I'm usually like pretty tired by the end of the week. So Thursday is like the best because I can celebrate the beginning of the weekend. And usually that means I like to do social things. I have a lot of friends that I've made through my company. I just took out my contacts. You guys do not need to see that. Something I have to say also is before I get into like the mentor and coach thing, since moving in with Thomas, I spend a lot more time at home now. So with Thomas starting school, I want to kind of be home a little bit more now. And it's not just like me living my life by myself, but I'm living a life with someone else now here. So I feel like I've been going into the office a little bit less than usual because, because of that. Excuse me. <laughs> need to put on lotion. So yeah, I feel like I wanted to explain to you guys why I, if anybody has noticed, why I haven't been going into the office as much as usual. That's part of the reason why. I feel like I just, I have a life with someone now and it's not just me working, but it's me living with someone and working and I just kind of want to be home more. There's that. This is the Coco Kind body lotion. I love this stuff so much. It's the Sake body lotion. This stuff is so good. It's like so thick and I really like wearing it right before I go to sleep, especially after I shower. If I shower at night, it just kind of like lathers my body in moisture and it's so nice. Last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about before I go to sleep is what Thomas and I were talking about at dinner. And we usually talk about just like how our days went. A lot of the times he talks about medical school and I talk about my corporate job at a CPA firm. And one of the things that we talked about that I feel like is interesting and I wanna get your guys' opinion on this and just like your thoughts. So comment below after you hear me out. But I wanna know, is your mentor and your boss the same person in your career? And if they are, do you like it? Do you not? Like, are there challenges or do you think that it really fosters your professional growth? And if they're two different people for you, do you think that that is necessary? Because I was having a conversation at work with my friend and I was having a conversation with Thomas and sometimes I think that it's better for your mentors not to be your boss because you can kind of open up a little bit more about any struggles that you're having at work. You know that it's not tied down to like the, your your day-to-day -day work that you turn in and it gets reviewed and blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, I feel like if you have a boss that you're lucky enough to also consider a mentor, then I feel like you can probably grow in a much larger scale on a professional level. So. I mean, I know my analytics. I know a lot of you guys are a little bit older than me. I'm 25 and I've only been working for three years, but I wanna know in your job experiences, if your mentor and your boss is the same person, do you like that or do you not? If they're different people, do you like that or do you not? I just kind of wanna start a conversation in the comments about mentors and bosses working at a job, like the blurred line between the two, or if they're better or not, or just overall what your experience is with that, because I'm very curious and, I feel like the more knowledge that we share, the more stories we tell, the more experiences that we share with one another, it can help us in our professional careers. One of you guys asked me if I would ever be a full-time content creator. And I'm like, never gonna say never, but I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just don't really see that in my immediate future. I need to support myself and my partner in medical school. And I just don't see me not having like a stable income and a way for me to support ourselves in that way. That's just like my whole spiel on mentorship, career, working, and yeah, I hope that gave you guys a little bit more insight on my job. I feel like I haven't done one of these in so long, so I'm ranting a lot at this point, but I hope that this was helpful for you. These are my pajamas tonight. I'm just wearing a huge oversized shirt from Princess Polly, and that's usually what I wear every single night to sleep. I just wear an oversized t-shirt, and if I have to talk while Thomas is sleeping, I'm in the bathroom because I don't wanna wake him up. <laughs> but I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here. This was a very chatty end of the vlog, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much again to Vivaya for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you use the code HONG for 15% off your entire order. I literally wore their Aria five flats all day and I loved them. They were actually so freaking comfortable. And ever since I've been wearing them, I feel like they're only becoming even more comfortable. So definitely check them out if you guys want. And that is the end of this work day in my life. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already.